Hello again, everyone. Ketta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here in the early weeks of May, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't done uh, in a video yet. There have been uh, people over time asking me about the remodeling and do-it-yourself renovation market and what is that having an effect on the lumber market and prices and that's a really good question. Um, now the thing is that this is a little bit difficult data to get. It really I suppose wasn't interesting uh, in um, years gone by or uh, it's uh, just difficult to gather and uh, nobody really wanted to put the effort into it the way that it is for you know home sales or housing construction. Um, I did have a chat with a few different folks uh, for example at the um, National Association of Home Builders about this and they are working to um, provide uh, this data of um, uh, remodeling and renovation um, volumes uh, but the thing is that there won't really be a history that's uh, something to note when we look at uh, what I'm going to show you here uh, you know my lumber prices uh, this company was started in 1952 by Peter Madison uh, and so for all of those years 70 years uh, every week um, we have the robust history of the lumber prices and you can put that against you know what's happening in the economy or with housing or all these different things that we know in hindsight because we obviously have records of all of that. Um, so the full uh, scope of the uh, renovation remodeling do-it-yourself it's it's huge it's pretty big it it sort of almost matches the actual construction uh, new construction now something really interesting that I came across when I was trying to find information for this um, you know when we talk about uh, lumber prices and housing it's generally residential you know a uh, heavy focus on single-family uh, you know standalone units because that is the largest proportion uh, and it does use the most wood but other types of construction use wood also you know especially like concrete forming uh, plywood and you know furring strips and these sort of lower grade uh, utility grade lumber is used to make the forms then it's knocked out and either reused or discarded um, so the thing that I came across when I was looking out for this information was um, office space remodeling and renovation uh, and that honestly I don't think anyone has really looked at or it hasn't been interesting but it's it's also quite a, a large number uh, worthwhile to note so let's just go to the grass real quick right now because you need to be looking at it to, to see what I'm going to say and like I said there isn't uh, uh, prior to 2015 there is no history for this um, but we can see a trend developing which might be able to give us some real insight into the next couple of years or even longer into the future about what's going to happen you know with the lumber with the construction and you know generally with society as people are moving around and the um, state of how we work is changing so real quick uh, before I get into what the numbers are of uh, the value of uh, remodeling and um, renovation what what kind of changes are people making so this shows that uh, from 2015 to um, well even in 2020 the most popular type was interior room remodeling and then home system upgrades uh, and then upgrades to the outdoor space or to the exterior of the house and then a little bit uh, in additions so definitely that top uh, those top bars there interior room remodeling would involve using lumber not so much for the home system but then again for the outdoor uh, spaces once more definitely would be using lumber to uh, work on that um, the home exterior depends on what it is if it's vinyl siding or um, 
I suppose there's not a lot of cedar used that much anymore. Um, but it also depends on how, like if they go under the outside of the house, then they're hitting onto the foundation and lumber as well. Okay, and so there's literally two sources for data uh, for this so far uh, until it becomes more robust. This, is, this graph is coming out of Harvard, and then the other source is the FHFA. They both do quarterly. They must be, um, just, they must be defining what is remodeling a little bit differently because the numbers are not the same, but the trend line is the same. So just to give perspective, total construction spending, which is something that's a normal thing for people to look at, in first quarter of 2020 was $334 billion U.S., Remodeling in first quarter of 2020 was also $334 billion. So it is significant. In first quarter of 2022, total construction spending was $370 billion. So that's an increase of 11% from those two years. In first quarter of 2022, remodeling was $391 billion. So the remodeling was even more than the construction. And that's an increase of 17% between first quarter 2020 to first quarter of 2022. Uh, I'm going to be doing more on this um, as time goes by. And like I said, it's difficult because there's not any price history um, before 2015. But that doesn't mean it shouldn't be watched. And just real quick here, I know that toward the end of that graph on the right, the lines are going down, but that's a projection. The only data that actually is, is that the last dark blue line, which is uh, first quarter 2022, the projection says that it's going to go down, but that doesn't mean anything. We'll see when it happens, right? For my lumber prices, Madison's, we don't do projections. I can tell you, you know, I, I think that the price will go down in the next few months or will be down by the end of this year, but I don't make um, actual data points of where that price will be just because there's too many things that can happen that it makes it impossible to predict. So this is that graph that I use all the time. It shows those top five lumber and the one panel plywood price against each other. And I use this to demonstrate that there is a um, consistency through the industry. When you have the pink line is Eastern Spruce comes out of Quebec and New York State. The uh, blue line there is Southern Yellow Pine that comes out of the US South, East, West, and Central. And the purple line is Western Spruce, comes out of the Pacific Northwest. Huge amount of sawmills, huge amount of companies, they do not collude or there's no uh, corruption going on in um, early 2020 when people were screaming that, um, you know, this is uh, some kind of gang warfare going on. No, that's the market and that's demand. Just real quick, I'm showing you the commercial uh, property remodeling. It's not as much as the new home building and the residential remodeling, but it's not tiny baby peanuts either. In um, first quarter of 2022, the office uh, commercial space remodeling spent was $37.6 billion in the U.S. So it's hard to say how much of that would be wood, right? Like most buildings are concrete and steel. But this shows you the activity and what is going on outside in the market. Okay, and so as I said, this is a relatively new data set that uh, never really was in any formal way compiled and tracked before. Um, it's showing some real uh, expectation uh, to continue into the future. You know, when you put it together with home construction, home supply, uh, house prices, and home sales, it really makes a lot of sense that people will be investing in their own home, right? If you look at my video that I made uh, two videos ago about the new home sales um, and the uh, amount of homes selling that are below $300,000 are disappearing. So a lot of people are, you know, wanting to stay up with this trend of investing in their home, uh, bathrooms are a very popular area. Outdoor space is another very popular area. Um, and in other ways to upgrade and bring their house closer to the 
to this above $300,000 level, which is now sort of becoming um, the norm. And all of this activity needs wood, needs lumber. And so if you like what you see here in the videos, click subscribe to the videos and you'll be notified uh, when I make another update in a couple of weeks, probably toward the end of May. I'll be doing another, definitely a lumber market and probably some more about housing starts because we're, it looks like it might be moderating a little bit. We'll see. Uh, click like here on YouTube uh, so that this video will get recommended to other viewers. And if you are interested in the deeper information, the full data on time every Friday when we release to our subscribers, in my caption, there's a link to subscribe. You can fill out a form, um, request a sample, or actually subscribe. And this way you won't have to wait until these uh, small little snapshots that I do. You'll get the full data on time and the full market commentary explaining why those prices are changing.